Hello, everyone. <coughs> I've got a tickle in my throat just as I went live. Good evening. How are you doing? Um, I hope you are having a good weekend. Um, my name is Emma Goddard, and you can find me at coastalcrafter.com. Uh, so this evening, I thought I would share with you some splendid thought note cards. So I'll just wait for a few people to jump on. If you're here, say hi, say where you're from. And I will just, um, oh, what have I done with that? I'm just clearing a couple of bits off my desk before I lose them. Some, some tiny, tiny stamps that I was using earlier. I just want to make sure they're out my way before I create this evening. Uh, hi, Louisa. Hey, Sue. Hello, hello. Um, how are you all doing? Oh, another Sunday again. Down in the caravan, Kirsty. Nice. Uh, hey, Anne Marie. Oh, the comments are whizzing by now. Kathleen, you're flying home. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Hey Hazel, hey Lizzie. Um, almost a hundred, Gian, Gian, a hundred degrees hot. That's what, 37, 38, maybe? I'd need to Google the translation. Um, thank you. I, yeah, I, um, I washed my hair earlier <laughs> and uh, I thought, shall I? scrunch it and I, I leave my hair to go curly naturally and I thought oh no I'll blow dry it so I just fancied a change so um oh uh, Holly's watching me like hello Lila oh <laughs> uh, um Katie watched the Albert Glaston with a guest appearance oh uh, I haven't watched any of Glastonbury actually haven't watched any of Glastonbury Cluster and Bray. Oh, thanks, Annette. Um, so it's unusual for me. I've normally got my scrunched up Sunday hair. Um, so but we went round to um my mum and dad's for dinner this evening. So um that was lovely. Uh didn't have to think about dinner. Um, so yummy dinner and a lovely rhubarb crumble for pudding. Um, so I'm all all fed and watered, ready to craft with you all, which is fab. So let me just get the camera ready. I should have done that before, but I was flying back in the door. I've still ran at my parents at like five to eight. So <laughs> I was like, must go, need to be on my live. So um, good job they're not too far. They're only, only 10 minutes around the corner, really. So let me pop this. Hey, Kim. Yeah, see, rhubarb crumble. Mm. Is it is it cream, ice cream, custard, or a combination? What's your topping or on its own? See, uh, so as long as I didn't take. No, I didn't. I didn't take any work for mum. Uh, right, I'll give you desk view. Let's get you in. Uh, as I say, I normally have this all set up and ready, but I was as I say flying in the door um, sorry about moving it all around custard yeah steve's a fan of custard he goes for the custard i like really, like extra thick cream i will have custard if we don't have any cream but it wouldn't be my wouldn't be my go-to karen's clotted cream extravagant very nice Kim's a custard every time. Yes. <laughs> Cold custard or hot custard? And Steve is very specifically cold custard. Hot pudding, cold custard. Cold pudding, hot custard. Um, apple crumble is also delicious. Oh, I've eaten. I'm absolutely full up, but all this talk of food will start making me hungry again. <laughs> Um, good evening, good evening. Uh, so this is ice cream. Yeah, I like a bit of ice cream. 
Right, so I thought these note cards were what I have pulled out. So if you haven't seen these um, yet, they are coming in the celebration July to August offer. So they, if you spend £45 between the 1st of um, July and the end of August, you can add these into your basket for free. So um, they are a pack of 20, I think it is. Um, but they're pool party, they coordinate with the splendid day. So you get um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 10 of each. So you get 10 pool party and 10 sea foam. And Kim says, oh, not cold. Yuck. I know. <laughs> cold custard. Um, and... Um, yeah, you get 10 of each, 10 pool party, 10 sea foam, and then the very pretty envelopes to go with it. And this coordinates with the Splendid Day um, suite or papers. Um, so we've got some designer papers. I won't bring all the foily ones on camera because they're all a bit blingy, she says, bringing them all onto camera. Um, but there are all the subtle sides. And this paper is the same pattern as the inside of the envelope. Evening, Alison. Um, so, yeah, very um, pretty. But I thought I thought we'd make just um, I was going to try and make a, a quite a few, but fairly simple. I know you're all going to roll around laughing at me. Um <laughs> because Emma doesn't do simple. Um, but I am going to try to keep them simple. So um, let me pop this in here to one side. Not sure if I'll use that yet or not. Balance that on my desk. Um, so let's start with the pool party one. And uh, I've got the stamp set ready as well. So this stamp set um, is called Splendid Thoughts. <laughs> so it's no way simple. I know. Bananas. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if that'll fit. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I might put it on a bigger block, actually. And... <clears throat> Are they larger than note cards? Yes. So our note cards are, these are the white note cards. And that's the, I'm calling them note cards, but they are bigger than note cards. Oh, thanks. Um, so I think US letter size peeps, help me out here, but these are Four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's your standard size card, isn't it? Um, so it is a, a standard size card. Right. Let me think about what I'm doing. Now, I did have the deckled edge um, dies arrive. I wasn't going to get them. But, you know, I couldn't resist for too long. These give you a load of rectangle shapes. And I thought we could put something like that in the middle. Um, me. And um, he says, yeah, uh, and that same four, four and a half by um, two seconds. Uh, all right. Um, Should we wind that through in white? And then we can do a bit of stamping on that one. I've got my um, cut and emboss machine beside me this evening. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, Carol. Right. These 
these are really pretty. I haven't used these yet. There, so oh, I had ink on my plate. Let me wind that through again. And, um, I was making a few bits and pieces earlier and my cut my cutting plates have got yellow ink on them. So I shall turn that over and try again. Better. But just gives it a little kind of um, well deckled edge, but just a little um ruffly edge. Um so let's stamp some of these. So I thought we'd go um tone on tone to start with. Um, and then we could maybe swap up some of the colours um, that we're going to use. So, pool party. And let's just stamp that. It's so, this is such a pretty set. It doesn't line up, it's not meant to, but it gives you a really pretty image on there and um what else have we got we've got dyes as well she says she says simple and she's pulling in the dyes already uh, had the dyes looked out and now i can't seem to let see where they are uh, still in my trolley wheeling all over the place being lazy right these are the dies um so let's pull in just maybe let's keep it tone let's keep it tone on tone we'll pull in a pool party um and that's <laughs> i know i'm trying it's really hard. Uh, pool party. Oh. This um, die cuts this beautiful um, die here. And then we could have a little sentiment on the top. So, um, what shall we do? I'll oh, keep pulling out big bits of cardstock. I want little bits, little bits, little bits of cardstock. Um, <laughs> Emma Simple, exactly. Uh, sending hugs. Let's celebrate. Today's a day to remember. Um, much love in your new life together is the sentiments in this set. Let's do. I want. I was going to try and use all the sentiments in this set, but I actually want some like for you type sentiments or thank you type sentiments because I'd quite like to send these note cards out with um, some of my catalogues. So um, where have we got a for you sentiment? That is quite nice. I'm going to have a look up on my shelf. Um, oh, do you know? Will you hello. I have been using this set today, and this is a quite a nice script. She see sea, seashells. Oh yeah, that's got a lovely little for you in it, hasn't it? Me. Uh, Ranunculus has got a just for you as well. Um. So we've got some choices now. So we've got um, just for you um, from this one, just because and hello. This one is one I pulled off my shelf. So for you and hello. 
Um, really nice fonts in that one. And then this one has got for you. Um, and this is only 75% um, image size. So that for you is actually a little bit bigger, which would be quite nice on there. I think I'm going to use that one. It's a good, good suggestion, Claire. Uh, let me get a little block. And maybe cut that, uh, stamp that in black. And let's tuck that in there. And I need some twine or something around this. It's too simple. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Wendy. Um, right, if we have got twine, have we got? And then let's put this around, maybe a bit lower down a couple of times round and then we'll tie that in a bow um, this is such um such a lovely set this really elegant twine's essential see essential <laughs> uh Deckled, how big is that deckled edge? I've already used. I'm going to die cut the next size of deckled up. This little one that I'll just tuck in, um, and then maybe some splattering, and then we could call it done. Could we? Sparkles next, Chris. I mean, you know, if you're going to make me, I mean, if you were to force me, I could be persuaded. <laughs> you know, I don't like to add too much to a card, so um, you know. But if you insist, I wouldn't want to disappoint you. Uh, I've got some solid faceted gems that I could be persuaded to put on the card. No, see? Because it just goes beautifully then, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I can't do it. I don't know why I even bother. I can't do simple. Can't do it. Right, let's get some splatters. I want um, maybe Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to move that away from the card because splatter fingers to let and then get sparkles and splatter. Yes, I know, right? Is this going to splatter? Is this going to do anything for me? Because this nib is done. Let me try the dark. Um, yes, this might do it. Yes, that was quite a lot of splatter. Uh, <laughs> Chris says you never deserve, we want to stem your creativity. Uh, funny. I feel like it needs some extra, like, I feel like that could be, no, I don't know. I feel like that needs to be darker. I wonder what it would look like in crumb cake. I'm going to die cut one just to see. Mm. Oh, there. Let me. Oh, cut one in. Hey, Heather. 
just creating a little simple note card. <laughs> I'm just uh, a bit of simple stamping tonight. Nothing too uh, complex. Right, let me. Oh, I think this is going to be nice actually. Um, maybe we could add that just to. That's I like that. Just stands out a little bit more, doesn't it? What do you think? Crumb cake versus the pool party. Um, I'm backing away. It's all right. I'm backing away. Crumb cake or pool party? Mm, not sure. Both. I might just go with both because I can't decide. like both crumb cake crumb cake crumb cake crumb cake both mm. might go both i think the crumb cake on top but i'm gonna have just a slight shadow of the pool party so um put a bit of glue on there and layer this just slightly offset, but that will then give you like a pool party behind. So yeah, I think both. If we've cut them, it'd be a shame to waste them, wouldn't it? Let's pop that down. There. And then I think we could just glue that on. So it's not too heavy on the note card. Mm. <laughs> on cake. Nicholas says, did someone say cake? Oh, I made, i tell you what I did make today. I, um, well, I didn't make it fully. The bread maker helped. But I made dough for um, um, some more Chelsea buns. So I made some Chelsea buns today, which was very nice. Did um, the dough and the fruit and sugar and all of that kind of jazz and yeah, very nice. Um, right, there we go. One very simple note card done. <laughs> Uh, on to the next. Right, let's do. Um, let's do the seafoam one. Or should we do some circles or something like that on this one? What do you reckon? Oh, I love a Chelsea bum. Yep. Oh, yes. For the next afternoon tea. Yes. Just getting to practice in just to make sure they're really good. Or maybe for team 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 event. There may be there may be a selection of Chelsea buns coming to that. Uh, right. Circles. Let me get some of those out. Oh, did I open a window as well? It's very warm. Very warm. Um Oh, we had uh, it's been Goodwood Festival of Speed along the road from us in Chichester for the last um, four days. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday and today. Um, I didn't go, um, but it's pretty close. And um, they have the Red Arrows and um, they came over our house today. I managed to, I sort of heard them coming, managed to get out in the garden and saw them go right over um, really quite low down to the garden as well. So I saw them go over. So that was pretty cool today. <laughs> Chris says, can I be affiliate team member for the Chelsea Buttons? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get some sort of 
circle going, maybe this circle. The, I'm going to do both together. So these are the Simply Stylish, Stylish, oh, I can never remember the name, Stylish Shape Dies. So I'm going to cut both together to give us a frame, which is a really nice way to use these dies. It was, it was amazing. I wish I'd got, I didn't have my phone in my hand. I think it would have been too quick actually to have um, got, a you know, I'd have missed it if I'd been um, faffing about with my phone. Um, I think I'd have completely missed it anyway. But yeah, it, it was a shame that I didn't manage to record it. Um, it was very cool. Right, let's do... Uh, um, now, what to do, what to do with that? Um, symphone circle. I'm thinking on my feet with these tonight. I hadn't really had an. I thought earlier, but I'm going to use these note cards, and that was really genuinely as far as I got in my head. And I thought, I'm sure it will just something will. It's such beautiful product. I'm sure something will come together. Let me. So I've cut the same size circle in the sea foam with the white frame. You don't get the busyness of that behind. And then maybe let's die cut some of these leaves in white. I look cool with the white frame colours. Oh, I've got great minds. Um, right, let's do some white die cutting. Uh, Katie says treated myself to these <laughs> she did read my mind uh, treated myself to those dyes ready with the simply um, the stylish shape one Katie or the um, the stem ones these ones hi Zaina thank you for joining uh, all right, let's pull that out. Let's do a bit of stamping. So you could really contrast the circle, couldn't you? I've gone a bit more muted. I've put the sea phone in there, but um, white, 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 white. These are clean because these were stamped in that pool party. So I'm going to stamp in uh, pear pizzazz. Yeah, stylish shapes. I haven't got half so weird. Oh, you'll be fine. I think the um, stylish shapes are such a good um, staple to have. You won't regret getting them at all. Um, right, so this is Pear Pizzazz, and then we've got our soft sea foam to infill. And I'm going to infill with this one. Oh, feeling a little bit cooler in here now. So, um, so warm. It's warm, warm. So sea foam, stamp that a couple of times. Now, there is a die to cut this out. Now this die cuts that out like so. So you'll get the shadowy infill 
of that as it is. Um, can you see the stamp set? Of course you can. Um, this one, Splendid Thoughts. So, and you've got the dots and stuff behind as well, and you've got a cute bee. Um, I want to keep all of the outline that I've stamped, so I'm going to fussy cut. Out. So I want to keep the outlines. So I'm going to go um, along here and then as I come round, I'm then going to come around the, not just the outline um, piece, but the shadow is what I'm following as well. I'm cutting out the whole image. Um. <clears throat> Whose hay fever has been bad at the moment? I think it's been really windy. It's been blowing, pollen around. I know my, my poor mum's been suffering with um, really bad hay fever at the moment. Mine's not too bad, although I am finding myself this evening feeling a bit sniffly. So apologies. Uh, for that. Right. Once we've got this cut. Now. Those red rubber for an infill. No, exactly. So not designed to sit over the top at all. Um, and the the um, font here is quite fine. And I think that tends to work better in a red rubber, whereas the photopolymer is more for, for lining up. I don't know. You can never decide why they've chosen the clear or the red rubber, uh, the photopolymer or the red rubber. I can never quite decide, right, do I want that in front or not, behind. Hmm, choices, choices, choices. <laughs> well, I want that sitting on there for sure. Just how much of that maybe off to the side that we want mm. something like that it is a gorgeous font isn't it really gorgeous right i'm going to use some of that i'm going to glue this down so i'm going to glue um the circle in place where i want it so that's going to go center and then this circle I want to pop up. So rather than um, fucking about with mini dimensionals, I'm going to trim some of this um, adhesive sheet. It's just a whole foam pad of um, dimensional. And then I can run that around. And I'll just break that off at point to give it a hopefully that should work I'm thinking it will yeah I want another strip mm, I don't use it often enough Lynn Lynn says sea foam is so soft and pretty it really is, and I don't reach for it often, you know, as I as I could. And um, yeah, it really is really pretty with the pool party as well. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's a lot of that's a lot of dimensionals. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we'll pop that one on there. Just raising that up so you've got the dimension of that. <laughs> Just simple. And let's have this popping out that behind. And then maybe this one sort of come in. We don't want to cover the image as such, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe behind. I think behind is better actually. Let me do that and then we've got the texture behind, but it isn't taken away from that gorgeous image that we've just um, stamped. So we'll glue that in. Only, only gluing on those bits there. And the rest of it can do its thing. And then this bit will come over the top there. Let's go down a bit further. Just on my best heat embossing ever. Oh, heat tool emboss powders. But it does make a difference. If you have the right, it really does. Just makes you've got the right tool for the job. The right tool for the job and the powders are fine and you've put the buddy on to stop it static it will make such a difference let's get rid of that little edge don't know why that was bothering me right let's do a sentiment on here um for you or hello or something. Let me look at what we had. Um, just for you. Mm, I'm going to do the just for you. So this one is from Ranunculus. And I'll stamp it in. Memento. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to stamp it in Memento to see, but I wonder if it might be better stamped in Crumb Cake. Give that a clean and do. Sorry about the squeaking. Um... Yeah, I think that's going to be better. Mm. Can't stop faffing with my hair pulling down in my face. I'm not used to it. Even when I've got my curls, it kind of stays <laughs> stays out my face. But when it's straight, it all falls into my face. Um, I don't straighten it very often. All right, let's. Cut that. Sorry, I've just realised that's probably off camera a little bit. Uh, let's. How are we going? Not too bad. Ten past nine. I mean, I've only made two. I mean, I was hoping to have made like twenty, if I'm honest. <laughs> Expectations versus reality. <laughs> some simple note cards I could make like 12 or 20 I'm sure I could do that on the Facebook live <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'll be fine um, <laughs> let's put that on some dimensionals now um there just for you. And um, I'm going to grab some linen thread and um, <laughs> staying on until the package is exactly right. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not allowed to leave until the pack is finished. <laughs> Be a um, splendid day marathon. Maybe we should do that one weekend. I should come on with a pack of them and see how long it takes us to make our way through the pack. <laughs> Just not starting at half past eight at night. I think I'll be on my knees. I'm, uh, I'm definitely a night owl, but I think that might just about finish me off. Uh, right, let's do embellishments, embellishments. What should we have? Oh, I'll tell you what I've got. Um, these are iridescent pearls. Um, they're really pretty. They're in the new annual catalogue. And they are what they say on the tin. They've got that iridescence to them. And they are the larger and the small pearls. Very pretty. And I'll just add a little bit of a bit of sparkle. Uh, let's do five. Mm, let's do that one there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's too much. Just three. <laughs> okay, let's maybe start from it. Start earlier. I know, right? <laughs> uh, I think they're still being generous. There we go. Right, let's put them away. Otherwise, I'm going to lose them. Um, um, right, let's do, should we do another one? I'm up for doing another one. Let's do um, pool party again. Let's do another pool party. Uh, should we have a band of white going across? That's not so simple. Hey, Rebecca. <laughs> Brian says he loves how my brain works. Can you hear it going clunk, 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 clunk? Uh, it's a scary place to be. Right, let's do um, a band of white. Do What size is that? Four and a quarter. Yeah, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. So let's do a band of white going across. And then maybe a band of pool party. Uh, so four and a quarter. And What's that two? So let's do that two and a quarter inches. And have that going across there. The st I really love the bobbly stamp in this one. Um, where would the stamp set be? There, this one. So let's do this one's got like. So, pool party. And let me just grab that. And just, I haven't yet done any heat embossing. Uh, my pool party. just stamped off that is quite dark isn't it it's quite dark uh, I've got a 
a white piece and then I've covered it. Pretty right. mm. though, like bubbles, isn't it? Jackie says we went blonde. Oh, do you know what? I haven't done anything to my um, the colour of my hair actually in a long time. I just think where I've had it curly, you've probably not noticed it. Um, the colour in there. The curls do make it look darker, I think. Um, right. I have got a die cut in my drawer. That says amazing. <laughs> Um, and I could get the thank you die. There is a thanks of this one, isn't there? Let's just try and... Hmm. What about the banner? Got the banner. Try the banner. <laughs> Done. So this is also from the Simply, honestly, my brain, Stylish Shape is this banner. So we could have that. I love that they've got the banners in those stylish shapes. So you've got the squares, the circles and the banners. Um, and you've got three banner sizes and a load of different sizes for the squares and the um, circles. Mm. Let's do this one. It is seagulls you can hear. Yeah, being noisy little devils. Noisy devils. shading on that. wondered if you could hear that in the background. Right, let's die cut that out. I'm not going to fussy cut around the shading on that one. Let's die cut that. And... Oh, I can bring in some of the foils. This one coming from that edge. That's coming together. And then maybe just a little sentiment on there. And I wonder if so these 12 by 12 papers have like foils in them, don't they? Is there? Mm. Uh, I've got some foils down here as well. About a silver, silver foil. <laughs> no time, not yet. <laughs> Uh, need some white, don't we? Or silver. Are we going to do some silver? This one. Look at that in the foil. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Like a trinket. Really pretty. I have that silver. That just makes it pop. Um... Look at this silver twine. Just two loops on that one, I think, and maybe just put that behind me. <laughs> get Chris that she hasn't finished yet. No, still more stuff to throw at it. Where it will end, nobody knows. Right, that can go on with some dimensionals. Um, right, let's go, let's go 
Kaona. Right, I want to make sure that's definitely lined up to that edge. Oh, I don't mind that it's overhanging slightly this edge because we can trim that either with the trimmer or a big pair of scissors off that edge. And then pop that on with that and then just, I don't know, maybe not that, too big. grab sentiments from any of your sentiments um from sentiments in any of your sets so that's I kind of mix and match and I often forget um where I've pulled sentiments from as well because I'll pull them out and use them and kind of I really do try and look through my sets for sentiments to use again and again um hey Fiona how are you I am using the splendid thoughts set um for these cards and it's in the upcoming July to December mini um, this one here um, the hello that I've just pulled in is from soft seedlings and that is also July the seedling one July to December as well. I think it is. Um, I think it is. It's a bit fiddly for cutting down this small. If I thought ahead, I'd have stamped it directly on the banner before I lay it on the um, uh, on the um, card. Uh, that is fiddly even by my standards. <laughs> Boiling here. It is warm, isn't it? I am warm. Warm, warm. Right, let's stick those down. Um. I, I can I go on there? And then just a little dot of glue on this one. And that can then sit whoop, down the bottom corner. As I say, I'd have stamped it on the banner if I'd thought about it. I wouldn't bother cutting that out. It's far too fiddly, but um, that's what happens when you go that way around doing things. Right, there we go. Where are we at? Uh, 27 past. That's three cards. I might call it done. I'm just going to do a fourth. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, it's a school night and all that. <laughs> um. So, right, let me bring in what we've made. So these were the splendid, or well, they're not called splendid day note cards, but they're pool party and soft sea foam note cards. So you get 20 of them. Amazing. Um, gorgeous envelopes to coordinate. And we have used the um, deckled edge dies, the circle from the stylish shape dies. Yes, I've had to look at the packet again. <laughs> Uh, and this one, Katie's like, you know, you want to. 
I know they look a bit uneven, don't they? Shall I make another one? Here's a school night. Could make it a really simple one. Uh, let's do we just free sneak one in. <laughs> uh, is my tea still warm? No. Gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Claire. Mm. Um, I feel like that could be swapped out for a bit of foil. It might make it look a bit more blingy. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. No, I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to uh, get my craft room tidied up so that it's... um tidied up for the week ahead and um <laughs> she's like just one just one no i'm gonna call it a night because um uh, school night and all that i might um uh clear up my desk and get ready for the for the week ahead pack lunches to do and all that kind of jazz um thank you so much for joining me um yeah i'm all right it's just a bit of a bit of hay fever coming in but <laughs> brian says just three more oh go on then um yeah, I think that now the winds have died down, the hay fever has kind of got less. So thank you for your um, thoughts, Hazel. Um, thank you, everyone. I hope you have a fabulous week, um, whatever you are up to. Um, just to let you know, my Card and a Cuppa group, my Card and a Cuppa membership is open um, to book your place. It starts this Friday. Um, is the first one for the July session all the details are over on my um, website we'd love to have you join us um, there's a live every friday and lots more fun in that group so um, do check it out and i will see you next sunday um, for another live take care everyone have a good week bye